Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel where I'll show you how to get more realistic turbulence in Flight Simulator 2004 and in Flight Simulator 10. Um, I'm going to show you the examples and how to do it in Flight Simulator 9 and Flight Simulator 9, which should be exactly the same as in Flight Simulator 10. Uh, first of all, you got to open the configuration file. Uh, in the sub-bar below you can see how to uh, open this and where to find it and as soon as you open it uh, you have to go to the weather tab right here and if we have to change a few things but before changing a few things please make sure you make a uh, backup of this configuration file because if you don't like it you can still switch back to the old one on the left side you will find the new configuration and on the right side is the old one So here's what you have to change in the configuration file. Uh, the first one is the minimum gust time, the max gust time, the minimum gust ram speed, the maximum gust ram speed, the minimum variation time, the maximum variation time, the minimum variation ram speed, the max variation ram speed, and finally the turbulence scale. So these are the things you have to change and now we're gonna take a look at a few examples what has improved in the turbulence in Flight Simulator 2004. The first and pretty simple example is the turbulence and wind effects on the aircraft while it's still on the ground. In real we can see the small aircraft moving a little bit when there is pretty much turbulence or wind. So this is an improvement, you can see the aircraft moving a little bit while still on the ground. Here's an example when we are in the air, as you can see the cockpit is shaking uh, pretty much, there is heavy turbulence in the area and you can see the turbulence effects have improved. And right now we're going to take a look at an uh, other example of a Boeing 767 landing at Vienna Airport on runway 34. In this situation we have moderate turbulence and a crosswind from the left. And as you can see, we have to fight the turbulence in order to make a safe landing on runway 34. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. We have now started our descent into our destination. Well, as you can see, we have made a very nice safe landing uh, when we have to fight against turbulence. So, as you can see in this video, the turbulence will improve if you change the configuration file. This should also work in uh, Flight Simulator 10. I hope you enjoyed the video um, and uh, you can use it. Uh, you can uh, expect the next video uh, in about two or one week. I hope to see you then and thanks for watching and see you next time.